We've decided to do a video this year about our silage harvest because a lot of people have never seen this done. Here at Hickory Hill we grow about 500 acres of corn every year, about 300 which we harvest for silage. Silage is the entire plant that's harvested and it goes through a fermentation process which you'll see a little bit later in the video. This is a shot of a custom harvester that we get to come down each year from Virginia and he brings his silage harvester and this year we cut about 3,500 tons in about three and a half days. We're very thankful for all of our neighbors who work together. Each of us supply trucks to each other to help in the silage harvest. This is a shot from the cab of the harvester. He is cutting eight rows of corn or 20 feet at one pass. Each time we open up a field, which means you have to get in that field, the truck has to actually follow behind the forage harvester, which takes a pretty good driver because you don't want to run into the back of the machine, but you also have to follow closely enough where all of the silage is making it to the truck. This year we ran two tractor trailers and about five short trucks, each of which were hauling about 10 tons on average between the tractor trailers and the short trucks. We moved about a little over 100 loads per day. After it's loaded on the truck, it goes to the pits, which are uh, down in the ground. The pits are a transition we made many years ago from the upright silos. We've all seen the big concrete silos around the country, and that worked very well for just a few cows, but the more cows you feed, it makes it a little bit more labor-intensive, so it's much uh, more efficient to use the in-ground pits. The pit that you're looking at now is uh, about 26 feet deep and it holds about 1,800 tons. Packing this silage after it gets to the pit is extremely critical. We run about three tractors on these pits and the compaction from the tr three tractors allows you to fill this pit to capacity and cut off all of the air to it. It's pretty labor intensive on the guys on the pit because they have a load coming in to them about every five minutes. So you can't get behind. That's why we run three tractors doing all the packing. After the pit has been completely filled, we take an eight millimeter plastic, stretch over the top of the pit, and then cover it with tire sidewalls. This allows the um, oxygen to be cut off so you have the anaerobic conditions and you have sugar, which is in the silage, in the corn plant itself. So when you cut the air off to it and you have moisture, sugar, and anaerobic conditions, that allows fermentation to start. And in addition to the natural lactic acid that's being produced from that, we add some additional lactic acid to speed the fermentation process. That way you have less spoilage. It's a pretty intensive job because uh, the video that you're currently watching, it was about 100 degrees that afternoon. So we get all the farm crew to come in and everybody gets to throw tires. In addition to the silage, our cows also go out on pasture and eat grass every day. But we have a nutritionist that comes in that tests this silage 
finds out what the nutritional uh, ingredients are in it and tells us what to mix with the silage to keep these cows happy, healthy, and productive. In addition to the corn silage, the cows also eat protein supplements and minerals that keep her healthy. Currently, all of these are byproducts. We feed wheat straw, we feed ground corn, which gives them additional energy. We feed canola meal, which gives them additional protein. And we feed citrus pulp, which gives them additional sugars and fiber.